to my channel. My name is Marina and I'll be doing your reading for today. It is a general love reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. It is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. I hope you enjoy your reading for today. And for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed and energies can go both ways. And I'll be doing a tarot reading for your love situation today. So do let me know with thumbs up if you like the reading. And if you want to support your, my channel, please subscribe and share with your friends and loved ones. And love and light to all of you. And with that being said, let's begin. So Aries, this is your January 2022 reading. And I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your not too distant future. And then I'll finalize it with some advice and messages from the universe. So let's begin, shall we? Messages from the universe for January 2022 for all my lovely Aries. Messages from the universe for January 2022 for my lovely Aries. And Happy New Year to everybody. Let's have a look. Okay. So... My lovely Aries, in your recent past, it tells me that you, you know, you experienced a, a wonderful relationship. You were experiencing a wonderful relationship. Things were going fine, you know. Um, you know, there was a lot of love there. There was a lot of communication there. Um, but at the same time, I feel that, you know, um, you came to realize that there are some problems happening, you know. Um, you realize that there's, you know, things have started changing um, in ways that you didn't really understand why. But I feel that you're certain someone and yourself became distant from each other. And, uh, you know, you started, to, you know, there were, there were issues about, you know, ending relationships. Maybe there was tampering from outside. But you started considering ending the situation because it brought you sadness and a lot of pain uh, for both of you, actually, um, but more for you, my lovely Aries. And I feel that, you know, you knew that, you know, the time of opportunity for this relationship had really ended because I feel that you're certain someone, uh, I don't know whether they became weak or they weren't consistent or they weren't giving you the needs that you deserved. And I feel that, you know, um, this love situation started hurting you, became more painful uh, than, than a happy, you know. And it became a very obsessive, addictive type of a relationship where you, you were needing each other, but I feel that respect was going. Uh, you felt trapped in this, uh, you know, so-called love. And it became more of an obsession and more of an addiction than a love story. And you realized that... You know, it's best to move on because, you know, happiness wasn't meant. Uh, you were not compatible. Uh, it just became a, a relationship of convenience, which, which, not, which was not what it was supposed to be and what it started out to be. So I feel this hurts you a lot and you realize that you have to move on and end this situation, um, end this addiction, end this obsession. And it, there was a lot of drama also in this relationship, which you didn't really sign up for. So I feel, and there was a third party situation. Somebody from the outside was interfering. So there's a lot of things that you hadn't signed up for. And you went through a self-discovery and spent some time and realizing um, that this, this isn't working out. And you had to gather all your will and all your energy and all your willpower really to move on because you were attached. There was a lot of love. There was an investment there, um, but you knew that it was time for action and you had to move on. You had to leave this relationship. You had to, you were entrapped. You had entrapped yourself in this relationship and you knew it was time to move on. Um, you're certain someone was trying to keep you there, but you knew you could see through it. You could see through the lies, through the deception, through the, uh, you know, the, the fake, the pretentious thing of everything. And I feel there was somebody else outside interfering or you're certain someone was not really giving you the 100% that you deserved. So I feel that you had to move on. Uh, some of you have moved on and some of you are contemplating moving on. And in your current energy, 
I see that, you know, you've you've gathered your strength. You've seen you've seen this relationship for what it really is, and you you know that you've made the right decision. I feel that you've moved on. Uh, the ones that the ones that are have moved on have moved on. Majority of you. The other ones are contemplating and moving on. You're just there's a step at the door and a step back. So you're in that process. You're at that crossroads of moving on. But I do see you moving on, leaving this relationship because. Um, you know, there's been a lot of hurtful, hurtful, painful words. And, you know, as we discussed in the past, uh, you know, you couldn't see eye to eye. There was a lot of drama that you didn't sign up for. And by moving on, you're recreating your life. You're realizing that, you know, you've made a, a very good, sensible approach to this. And you've, you know, you're at a good place now. You've found peace within yourself. And you're no longer looking back in the past. And you're celebrating this amazing uh, action that you took. Um, there are new things that, you, that are out there that you have to learn, that you have to apply yourself. You know, um, you know, if you have to be single again and ad adapt to the single life, well, that's all good because I do see you happy. I see you going out more. I see you celebrating. Um, you know, you've seen the truth by this moon card. It tells me that you've listened to your gut instinct and you've paid attention to all the signs. And now you've let go of your fears and there are revelations that will make everything clear. So you, you've, you've come into the light. You know that you've made the right decision. And, you know, you're learning. You're learning to do this. You're, you're learning to move on. You're learning to take care of you. You're taking care of business now. You're taking care of your family now. You're no longer uh, dependent on somebody that, that no longer uh, has prioritized you or your family or you or your needs, you know. So I feel that you're happy about this decision that you've made and you've come a long way with this decision and you have found peace and contentment in your life and you're honoring, honoring this decision that you've made and, um, you know, you, you've given yourself a, a good pat on the shoulder because it took some time for you to make this decision. You had to be brave to make this decision, but I feel that it's the best decision that you ever made. And in your current energy, you will come to realize that it was a wonderful decision because there is peace and there is happiness and there is contentment, you know? You're no longer looking back at this anymore. You want to move forward. And in your not too distant future, I see that you are truly moving forward with this decision and you're not letting anybody's negative thoughts affect you in any way anymore. Um, the fears, the, the, you know, the insecurities, uh, the fears that you had of the unknown um, are still there sometimes, but you have passed on that. You've moved to the next level. And, um, you know, there are times that you get confused. Uh, there are times you think, did I make the right decision? Didn't I? Was it a sudden and impulsive decision? You know, you are insecure about that, but ultimately you will come to realize that you do have the contentment, you are happy, you will work hard for your future, you will find that balance again, um, you know, you will, you know, sometimes when we, we're with somebody, you know, we're used to, we, we kind of lose our identification and we're with that person and that's how we are identified. So it's going to take time for you to find your identity, to find that balance, but you will move on with this Wheel of Fortune. It tells me that a fresh new start and the end of, of past pain and you will start progressing you're going to move forward there's a lot of positive changes coming in your life i see you moving forward i see you taking new actions new plans you're you're a new you and i see you succeeding you're being released by this card which is the death card in major arcane but you are being released because um you know this ending is going to lead to new beginning this closing of the door is going to open a new door and nothing will hold you back anymore no person or people or family or commitment or you know traditions are going to hold you back anymore because you are on a spiritual quest you're on a spiritual transformation uh, and you're loyal and dedicated about this and you're plan you've planned carefully you've planned this areas so you're very intelligent you're very smart you know you know 
uh, how far you've gotten and it's very hard to go back now you know i feel that uh, there's some temptation some seduction some somebody's luring you back into this entrapment but you've got to stay focused you've got to stay strong you've come such a long way you don't want to go back you've you've come so far you know so uh, you're going to remain dedicated to this you know because you had the perfect timing when you did what you did and I feel a guardian angel, I always see this for you, Aries, there's always a guardian angel watching over you. So I feel that you are protected, that you are watched over, and that you will succeed in this. So, you know, be happy with what you've done. You've been stressed, you've been hurt in the past, you've been taken advantage of, and there's been tamperings in the past. So you've moved on from all that. You've come to a place of peace, of of at least, you know, just being happy within and contented and not being uh, forced to live in a fairy tale of what others think while deep down you were hurt. So you have made such progress. Um, really, there's no going back and you should be happy about this amazing, amazing decision. And you will be happy and you will find your inner peace and you will find your inner balance. It's just going to take some time to get to that. But you're getting there. And don't let anybody or, or others tell you otherwise because you have su come such an amazing and long way. So let's get some messages from the universe. Let's see what they have to say about all this and what they think of this amazing move that you've done. January messages for Aries, January 2022. Just some advice and what they think. What the oh wow look what they think that is oh i love it when they confirm everything it's so wonderful that they confirm everything with these cards the world is going to be yours aries they're telling us the universe is telling you the world is going to be yours you're going to have freedom to do whatever you want by this world card you're going to be proud of yourself you know, you know that you had to move on and you moved on and you went on the spiritual quest and it was the best decision that you ever made. You will find the balance, that balance, you will find your identification again. You will find your balance again. You'll be successful in that. Um, you, won't, you will no longer focus on the negative and you will truly, truly find happiness. And I see you down the track, down the track. You're falling in love. You're meeting a friend, a lover, a soulmate, somebody supportive that's going to help you in this. You've awakened. You've awakened by this hangman. You've awakened to this situation. You realize, you know, you're embracing your own uniqueness. And, you know, you, you've, you've awakened and you're seeing things in a whole new light. You're no longer going to be... Uh, by this ego, which is the devil card, a major arcane, they're telling us that you're no longer going to be in this obsessive, addictive, unidentified relationship. You have awakened to it. You're releasing yourself from this. The world is going to be yours. You, you will get the balance that you want. Down the track, you will fall for somebody and somebody will fall for you. There's a support system here this time around and your next suitor is going to be very supportive. So everything that you have done, the universe is more than happy and is by your side, supporting you and giving you the balance, the world, uh, the awakening that you need and releasing you from this painful addiction that you had. And I see you succeeding and becoming your new you. And this is one of the best advice that the universe can truly give you to confirm that the decision that you made was in your path, in your destiny and well overdue. And they're more than happy um, to guide you, uh, to give you the balance, to give you the world, to give you the happiness that you deserve. And all this is coming, my lovely Aries, in January 2022, when all these things come to pass. So I wish you all the best. And I hope you succeed in everything that you do. And I hope you've enjoyed my video. Don't forget if it resonates with you, give me a thumbs up. And to support my channel, please subscribe to it and share with your friends and loved ones. If you'd like to be notified when I upload my videos, just click on the notification bell. And namaste and God bless and thank you for watching.